So ISIC Appalachian is a smaller part of this huge international network. ISIC itself operates in 127 countries and territories. It was founded after World War II uh, by a group of French and German students, I believe. They realized that the best way to avoid another calamity like that war was through cross-cultural experiences, literally just understanding the people that live beside you. We believe that through uh, cross-cultural experiences and experiential learning abroad that we can begin to achieve peace and fulfillment of humankind's potential. So through our, both our outgoing and incoming exchanges, we want to provide the students of Appalachian as well as the community of Boone the experiences of other cultures and being able to engage with people that are a little bit different than those we know so well. So you could either go abroad for six weeks and work for an NGO or a startup company and stuff like that, but you could also experience the world in Boone with our incoming exchange program. The coolest part about I6 programs are they're created for and by the communities that ISIC exchange participants go within. I always like to talk about how ISIC United States is actually a very small part of the larger network. It's these communities coming together and working towards a solution and that's one of the reasons why we have such a high time requirement because there's no possible way to fully acclimate to a different culture and then actually be able to be productive and learn from them in anything shorter than a month and a half. When I was originally approached with ISIC, I was told about an experience of one of our most recent exchange participants. She had spent her summer in China and after she returned there had been student riots um, in the city she had been living. All of a sudden she realized she cared a lot more about what happened with those riots and the people there because of her experience in ISIC. That really intrigued me and pulled me into the organization. And over my past two years, I've realized how true that really is. Between my time in Mauritius and my time in Mexico, I've realized these people that I've come to know and love are not just a part of like headlines or statistics. They're people with the, and young people with the same hopes and dreams that I have. This understanding is not something I would have been able to gain if I hadn't spent so much time abroad living with people in the countries and people from around the world and the best part about Isaac is this uh, connection with like it sounds hokey but the greater good and like understanding that you're part of something bigger than you. In my time in Isaac I've realized that I can no longer walk into a culture and believe I know anything about them based upon the headlines I've read in the past or the things I've heard from other people.